The victim in this case said she had known her assailant, that they had gone into the fernery to drink a couple drinks, alcoholic beverages, and that's all it was supposed to be. However, during this outing, he did a line of cocaine, and she said he did a 180, and he became extremely violent and wouldn't let her go and tried to rape her. I was down on my looking to hit me a lick, ready to get into some since I was a jit. I had big dreams of getting rich. Now we leveling up in this take a look at my kicks. You know we stepping on toughest the first one to get hit, don't make me send a blitz. My head is itching for it. Hollow to spit like a list, but wait. Whoa. Whoa, now Mr. Moore from the Kane Deal. Welcome back to Sheldon's Bullet Gas Studio. We come to kick it, vibe out, and shoot this shit with Sheldon. I really appreciate each and every last one of y'all for pulling up. Do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's go ahead and get up to this video of today. Alright, now we have uh, a video saying police stops illegal immigrant from attempted RAPE after a fake pizza order call. And the woman started breaking down thanking Jesus. You know, this is what's going on um right now. This this uh open border policy that we have is really beginning to bite us in the butt. And a lot of these illegal immigrants are doing these egregious crimes like this. And we already have it going on with the people that are citizens. We don't need more of it going on with the ones that aren't citizens. So I feel like, you know, yeah, something needs to be done at some point. But I digress. We finna go and get into this video. Make sure that like button is lit. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Let's not waste no more time. Let's go and get up to it right now. If you ain't fucking with my nigga Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. Hey. Get off her now. Get off her now. Give us a channel. Thank God, thank God. Don't you move. Don't you move. Don't you move. Come here, come here, dear. Come here. Are you good? 21 says a clear channel. Come here. We're good. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We got our mail secured. He took it. Copy a Florida tag, please. And when you watch the video, if you're a father, if you're a grandfather, if you're a brother, and you hear those screams coming from our victim, it makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up. Yeah, man, it's cold. Got, we're here now, okay? Hey, we're here. We're here. That's wild. We're here. We're here. Just catch your breath. He's got him. He's got him. He's got him. The victim in this case said she had known her assailant, that they had gone into the fernery to drink a couple drinks, alcoholic beverages, and that's all it was supposed to be. However, during this outing, he did a line of cocaine, and she said he did a 180, and he became extremely violent and wouldn't let her go and tried to rape her. The video, again, speaks for itself. The suspect in this case is Louise Hernandez Manejo, 27-year-old male who was in this country illegally, who the day before the incident applied for asylum. He's now sitting in our jail with three felony counts against him, and the Border Patrol has lodged a detainer against him. I am so proud, number one, of our victim for having the wherewithal and keep her wits as they're able to get that information to our communications folks our communications folks for being able to decipher what was going on and use technology to put us, the deputies, in the general area of where she was. And then obviously you can see the deputy's response in taking this scumbag in the cup. Okay, now the title says that it was a fake piece of call. How did that come about? I need more information. You know? All right, now, according to the New York Post, it says, um, an illegal immigrant was allegedly caught in the act of trying to RAPE a Florida woman who had raised the alarm by calling 911 and pretending to order pizza, according to authorities. How did she do that? Let's see. Um, Mexican native Luis Hernandez Moncayo, 27, was arrested for kidnapping and sexual assault earlier this month, just a day after the... After he applied, okay, yada, yada, yada. 
Um, I'm trying to figure out how she got to the piece. Okay, it says the quick thinking alleged victim, the quick thinking alleged victim raised the alarm by tricking Hernandez Moncayo into thinking she was ordering food, but was really on the line to 911. All right, yeah, I would like to order a pizza. The woman was heard saying an audio of the car released with her voice altered to protect her identity. Says, are you calling 911? The dispatcher asked, immediately catching on when the woman replied, yes, I'm sure I'm calling that. Yes, I'm sure I'm calling to that number. Can I get a pizza? Okay. All right, then it says, I would like to order pepperoni and extra cheese. She said as the dispatcher kept on kept her on the line asking extra questions to deduce that she was with one man who was not armed, but that she did not know exactly where they were. The sheriff's department eventually triangulated the caller's location. With video showing deputies approaching as the accused attacker was still on top of the woman, the sheriff said, he's trying to R.I.P.E. me, the woman screamed out. The video shows, can you help? She repeatedly screamed through harrowing sobs, of course, and which we've heard. I guess we don't have the um, audio of the car. I was trying to see if we had that, but I guess not. Uh, let's continue on. As the deputies cuff the suspected rapist with one repeatedly telling him, don't you effing move. The woman sobs loudly. Thank you. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Watch the video. Yada, yada, yada. The woman told the cops she knew Hernandez had planned to have a few drinks with him. Flipped after the cocaine. She said he became extremely violent and wouldn't let her go. Okay, yada, yada, yada. All right. Well, that is right there. Uh, well, you always have to be vigilant and, and on your toes at all times. And this lady right here was on her toes. She was on her toes. Even though she was in distress, she had some quick thinking, and she was able to uh, outsmart her opponent. Now, I don't know how <laughs> he was able to be tricked into thinking that she was going to cause some pizza. You know what I'm saying? Like, imagine somebody is in the in the moment of trying to R.A.P.E. somebody, and they like, hey, wait a minute. Let me make a phone call for us to get some pizza right quick. I'm kind of hungry. He's like, oh, okay, wait. I'll wait. I mean, it, it usually never happens, right? But for her, it worked, and I'm glad it worked. So, yeah, kudos to her for thinking smart and outside of the box. She did whatever she could to uh, protect herself, and that's what happened. Thank God for that. And thank God for those quick thinking or, or quick responding police officers for getting onto the scene and the technology for allowing them to locate her. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I digress. Let me know how you feel about this in the comment section below. If you vibed all the way up to this point, I really do appreciate it. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm Sheldon Vibes. I need y'all to be cool like the other side of the pillow. Stay light on your toes like you suppose. Oh, yeah, no. If you ain't fucking with my nigga Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, God.